Today on TNT Big Show, will Microsoft become the new Sega? All today on TNT Big Show. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Michelle Ann Tackett. And this is Sean. Welcome to TNT Big Show, and if you like our content, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And if you want to help the video, watch the whole video, thumbs up, leave a comment, just be nice, and share it with your family and friends on social media. Okay, this is where we dive into stuff, and we're gonna just be bluntly honest. There was a time in 1999, everybody knew the PlayStation 2 was coming, and there were rumors about the Nintendo Dolphin. Dolphin, yeah. But there was rumbling about something else as well. That with the Sega Dreamcast unfortunately not doing as well as what people thought it was going to do, there was rumblings that another company could enter the video game market, Microsoft. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with Microsoft, I don't know how you could be, but let's just say you are. They are the richest company in the world. world yeah. Worth over three trillion, not oh. billion, three trillion dollars. Yes. Sorry, Tesla and Elon Musk, it's Microsoft. Yeah, <laughs> and Bill Gates wanted to enter the video game market after seeing how the PlayStation 1 did. At CES 2001, January 6th, Dwayne The Rock Johnson helped Bill Gates debut the original Xbox. What was the video game industry saying? People had their eyes on it, but there was a narrative going around that Nintendo was not going to make it. That Nintendo could not compete Sony and Microsoft's money. Ironic that Nintendo actually has more money now than Sony. And that Nintendo really needs to be a third party. Yeah, we heard those for years. And how ironic that Microsoft tried to buy Nintendo and Mr. Yamauchi, Mr. Miyamoto and them laughed him out of the room. They literally laughed him out. They got so embarrassed he got up and he won. They wouldn't stop laughing. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, when Michelle says that, it's factual true. Yeah, but Microsoft came out in 2001 and they had a game called Halo, which took the world by storm. It was a huge game and it helped propel the Xbox to decent sales. The only system that really did while well, that generation was the PlayStation 2. Unfortunately, the, the poor little GameCube came in third with 21 million. The Xbox did 24 million, and PlayStation 2 did 150 million. To be honest, though, Michelle, if the PlayStation 2 had not been a DVD player, I bet those numbers would have been a lot lower. Probably, yes. I would say yes. But anyway, it gave Microsoft a footing. It had something called Xbox Live. Which, some people think was a bad thing because Microsoft charged money for their online. Oh, Next generation comes, and the Xbox 360, at least until late in the cycle, was beating the PlayStation 3. Yes, it was, folks, it was. And even though the PlayStation 3 ended up winning, it was only by like a million or two. Microsoft had established themselves. They had another big hit franchise with Gears of War, Fable, but something started to happen. Connect, they started obsessing over trying trying to copy the Wii. Motion controls. Yeah, and it didn't work out. Oh. And then probably the thing that broke the camel's back and they just haven't been able to recover was the disastrous debut of the Xbox One. Wow. Another thing that helped was the PlayStation 4 was a little more powerful than the Xbox One, plus it was $100 cheaper. That really made Microsoft look bad. And ever since then, Microsoft has struggled. This makes me wonder, are they the new Sega? A new report from, I think, PC Gamer, I'll put the link below. A lot of publishers and stuff now are getting wary about making games for the Xbox Series X and S because of the flatlining sales in Europe. And every time, not 1 out of 10, not 2 out of 10, but 9 times out of 10, when you see a third party game breakdown in sales, number 1 is either the Switch or the PlayStation 5. But what's dead last? The Xbox. Even though the Xbox, uh, a lot of these third-party games play better on the Xbox, people are still going with the PlayStation and Switch version. Microsoft had a chance to really be something in the video game industry. And they blow it. But their obsession with streaming services and trying to be like, you can play our games anywhere. Yeah, there's something else that you can do with that too. It's called the Nintendo Switch. 
And let's not forget the big debacle that's known as the Activision acquisition. That was nothing but a boggle. That was a crap show for sure. But think about how eerily Microsoft has mirrored Sega. Sega with the master system so decent, about six, seven million. And believe it or not, for back in the 80s, that was pretty good actually. While Nintendo dominated with 60 million. Kind of sounds familiar, don't it? The PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. Then, with the Super Nintendo versus the Sega Genesis, Nintendo won, but Sega did very well with around 30 million units sold. And then came the Saturn. The 32X. Yeah. You know, I mean, really, it was. Then the Sega CD. But then the Saturn, and Sega never recovered. The Dreamcast was a much better system than the PlayStation 2. Sorry, it just was, the games. But the Dreamcast flopped. And honestly, folks, if I was Sega, I would have dumped the 32X, I would have dumped a Sega CD, I would have dumped a Sega Saturn, and just moved straight to the Sega Dreamcast. Yeah. I think they would have won. I really do. I think they would have beat Sony. Yeah, they might have. I mean, because they did those mistakes with the Saturn. It gave Sony a wide open chance to curb themselves. But the fact of the matter is, is that Microsoft seems to be following the same path. Yeah. Now the Xbox Series X and S sales are behind the Xbox One. Yeah. The Series X and S are better systems than the Xbox One. But something happened that a lot of people didn't expect. The Nintendo Switch became a powerhouse. Not even Sony expected this. No, nobody expected yeah. this. Yeah. And in the future, probably about a year from now, the Nintendo Switch will be the best-selling console of all time. Oh. Something I predicted way back in 2016. The people who thought that thing was going to flop, I just was like, are you not seeing this? It's a Nintendo Portable that you can play as a console, and a Nintendo console that you can take with you on the go. I just couldn't believe people did not understand that concept. But anyway, the fact is, Microsoft wants to go into portable gaming. If you're going to treat it like you are your home console, you're going to get squashed by Nintendo and Valve. Microsoft does end up going under as far as making consoles. I could see Valve taking their place. I think Valve would make a good competitor for Sony. And by that I mean, you know, the PC-like consoles Console. duking it out. Because Valve has experience running Steam, making the Steam Deck, and the Steam Deck is a quality little machine. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people are disappointed that it didn't kill the Switch. Why? I don't know, because it's done really well, actually. But the Steam Deck is a really good system. Of course, a lot of systems have problems, but Valve corrected those mistakes. It's just with Microsoft, they do not give you a reason to buy their machine. It's sad, but it's true, and this obsession with streaming is what costs Microsoft. Why are you buying these big companies, Microsoft? Why? We should have known when they got Rare, and Rare couldn't produce great games for them. We should have known then that Microsoft was going to go belly up. They ruined Silicon Nice as too human. Halo went down the drain. Gears of War went down the drain. Fable went flop belly up city. Now they're trying to rebuild Fable and Perfect Dark. I hope they can do that. We'll see. Yeah. Because Sega, or excuse me, Microsoft's reputation doesn't give me faith. Because their reputation is not that good. Sorry, it just isn't. Oh, that could have been Microsoft. Yep. But I just have a feeling they're going to go third party, publish games on the machines like Switch. Yeah, and PlayStation 5, and games like Call of Duty, The Elder Scrolls, and all them will be multi platform. Like, it's not over yet. The writing is on the wall. Microsoft is going to need a miracle to turn it around. Around. This is me, Michelle Ann Tackett. And this is Sean. Have a good one. Thank you for staying to the end of the video and watching it. If you like all of our videos, then don't you join our other social medias like TikTok, Discord, Reddit, Instagram, Thread, X, and our WordPress blog. You can also support us by joining Patreon for as little as $1 a month where you will get exclusive content, uncut videos, behind the scenes, watch that trailer, Jack's Joke of the Week, and my sports input. If you join the $25 tier, I will send you an autographed copy of the Buzzies for free. If you love horror movies and independent content, content we're a great place to come and visit because we love supporting other independent creators and stuff when you support us you're supporting people who do all of this by ourselves hey michelle i'm the editor i'm the director of the videos i'm the producer sean's the executive producer and content creator so thank you everybody and please look into supporting our patreon as it really does help out just one dollar a month thank you and have a wonderful day